Get unlimited access to all of our CPE courses at www.teachucomp.com forward slash unlimited CPE. In this lesson, we will examine the special rules that apply to members of the armed forces, their spouses, dependents, and decedents with regard to moving expenses. If a taxpayer is a member of the armed forces on active duty who moves because of a permanent change of station, he or she does not have to meet the time or distance tests in order to deduct unreimbursed moving expenses. A permanent change of station includes a move from the individual's home to his or her first post of active duty, or a move from one permanent post of duty to another, or a move from the last post of duty to the individual's home or to a nearer point in the United States. In order for qualifying expenses to be deductible, the move must occur within one year of the end of active duty or within the period allowed under the joint travel regulations. In a situation where a member of the armed forces dies, is imprisoned, or deserts, a permanent change of station for the spouse or dependent includes a move to the place of enlistment or to the home of record of the member, the spouse, or the dependent, or to a nearer point in the United States. Special rules apply to members of the armed forces who receive moving and storage services, reimbursements, dislocation allowances, temporary lodging allowances, or other housing allowances. Members of the armed forces must take certain steps when completing Form 3903. Refer to IRS Publication 521 for more information. Like what you see? Get unlimited access to all of our CPE courses at www.teachucomp.com forward slash unlimited CPE.